Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Sherielle if you're new. Um, as you can tell my hair is looking a little crazy today um, and that is because today I am reviewing the brand new insert name here blow dryer brush. So um, I am so excited. I wanted to test it on my curly hair because I haven't really seen any reviews um, personally on someone with really curly thick hair like mine. I also would consider my hair on the long side. So for my curly hair girls out there, I am gonna test this out for you and um, see what the hype is all about. I am so excited. Um, I do want to go over how cute the packaging is, of course, and I wanna state how lightweight this is. Like this literally feels like nothing. It is so light, uh, which I'm really excited about because my hand starts to hurt after a while um, when I do my hair, um, just because I have a lot of it and it's pretty curly. Um, so yeah. So just a little fun fact, this blow dryer uses ionic technology to dry your hair 60% faster than any other blow dryer. I don't know about you, but I want to <laughs> blow dry my hair faster um, just because it always takes so much time in my day and I want to like move on and do other things and my hair usually takes like two hours. Usually I will blow dry it with a blow dryer and then um, go over it with a flat iron. Um, so we will see how quick um, this blow dries my hair. As I stated before, this is an ultra lightweight hair tool. It feels almost like nothing. It looks really heavy, but I promise you it is not. And I wanna show you right here that this is a ceramic heater, which heats up quickly and glides through the hair. And it has a 1200 watt motor um, and two different speed settings and three heat settings. So I will show you here. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, there is a high, low, cool, and off. I'm gonna show you how to use the cool setting later on in the video. If you guys did not know this, I do have my cosmetology license. I've had a, uh, I have been a cosmetologist for years now, so I will share some tips and tricks to ensure that you get a beautiful blowout and how to hold the volume and all of that good stuff. So. Anyways, um, without further ado, I'm going to go on to the demo. This is my first time trying this, so this is like a first for you and I. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited. I mean, this is just so adorable. The color and certain in here's products are always super cute and girly, so I am excited. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this is obviously the before. Crazy hair, I know. Um... <laughs> rolled around to my chair like that. I'm going to part my hair into two sections. This is usually how I will do my hair and I find that this has been working for me. You can part it in four sections, however many sections you want. So I'm just going to clip this up. Now for giving yourself a blowout, I do not recommend having like dripping, soaking wet hair. Uh, it might look like my hair is completely dry, but it's about 80% dry. I was taught in school to um, blow out your hair 80% dry. I do that on clients. Um, so that is the best way to blow out your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a small section out here. Let me get a little bigger because this brush is big you can take bigger sections with this which I like because that makes things go by a lot faster as well and I'm just going to clip this up out of the way and I do want to make sure that I don't have any knots or anything even though it is a blow-dry brush and it like already brushes through your hair um, I've already applied my heat protectant, so here we go. I'm going to start on the high setting. I will do the high setting basically all throughout my head, and then I will get into why I use the cool setting. Okay. So I'm obviously done with one side. I do want to show you guys how I seal the cuticle with the cool air. So I want to also show you 
This side of my head's probably like pretty much dry, so I definitely have to add more water to it. But I want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the before. My hair's so dark, so it's like kind of hard to tell. Of the before and the after, honey. Yes, girl. So cute. So, yeah. I'm going to clip this back up. And show you how I use the cool air to seal the cuticle. So I am going to take this piece back here and I'm going to put it on hot, the hottest setting. Okay. Oh. While it's in your hair, I'm gonna put it all the way um, to cool. So as it's on hot, as it's on the heat setting, like this, you're just gonna bring it and then switch it to cold. Seal that cuticle with the cold air. So basically what that does is, have you ever heard people say, let your curls cool down? Well, it's kind of the same method, except you're not letting it cool down, you're cooling your curls. So that's why I love that this has a cool setting. So I'm going to do that all throughout my um, ends, and I'm going to give it a cool shot, and then I will finish off this side. I will come back, and I also need to charge my camera. <laughs> I will come back and show you guys how I finish off the styling and show you the final reveal. See you in a little bit. Okay, I am all done. I want to show you guys how it looks standing up. Ooh, it looks like I literally went to a salon and got a blowout. Now, as you can tell right here, since the brush is bigger, um, I'm not able to get like right where my edges are, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I can just go over it with a flat iron. Um, but other than that, pretty much this is it. It looks so pretty. I literally look like I just walked out of a Dominican hair salon, not dry bar not any other blowout bar like a dominican hair salon where they like really 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 blow out your hair and give you this big like voluminous um blowout got some more face firming layers in my hair recently um and i'm really obsessed i kind of want to cut more layers you know long layers I, I like more of like the face firming layers more in the front rather than um a bunch of layers all throughout my hair I just find that works the best with my curly hair. Anyways, off topic. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I over direct. Now, my girls that were in cause school, they know what I'm talking about. But basically what this means, and I'd rather show you than like tell you, is, it looks like the grudge, cool, cool, cool. You're going to take the brush, put it like this, and you're going to basically... Let me zoom in. You're going to basically over direct the hair. So just keep spinning it like this to get the volume. So that's what you're going to do. Obviously, the dryer is not on. So I'm going to, <laughs> hello, I'm going to do this myself right quick and have you watch. Yeah. So basically all that does is give you some volume um, in your fringe area. So you could you could go as far as um, you know kind of doing like a pin curl while it's hot like this and pinning it up and then you know doing all that but I kind of but I love how it's looking now. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Yay or nay? I, of course, still have to do my baby hairs, but that's not a big deal. That'll literally take five seconds. To give myself an at-home blowout with the INH blower took me less than an hour, you guys. 
less than an hour that is literally unknown for my hair even when i go get it done at like a hair salon it still doesn't take um you know less than an hour usually it's like an hour and a half leaning an hour and 45 minutes but it was like a little over 45 minutes that uh it took me to blow up my hair with the insert name here blow dry brush so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments below um i will have more vlogs coming to you soon um you guys let me know if you want to see vlogmas this year i obviously am going to be going all out with the christmas decorating and christmas vlogs because this is our first christmas in our house so i have a lot to film this vlogmas if you've been following me for a while now you know that um in the past i was by myself on vlogmas i don't think i did vlogmas while kyle and i were dating um so i want to do vlogmas let me know if you want to see that but thank you INH for sending over the blow dry brush. I have been obsessed with every single product they sent me. This video is not sponsored at all, but INH did send me this um, in exchange for a review. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you want to see next down in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!